Did you know that if you're getting a tax refund of any size, that you could be getting that back in every single paycheck instead of waiting for one big payout? When you get that big payout, it's deflated. You know, you lose return on investment potential. If only you had this money throughout the year, you could pay down your debts and get out of debt faster. You could be investing in a home-based business, which reduces your tax liability even more. And you could also be putting more food on the table, more gas in the car, you know, making sure that you're caught up on bills so you don't have to pay late fees, making sure that the, you don't have any non-sufficient funds because you have some extra funds in your bank account. This is how you get it. Now, the Form W-4 completely legal. Uh, it says right here, the purpose is complete Form W-4 so that your employer can withhold the correct federal income tax from your pay. All right, consider completing a new W-4 each year. You should be revisiting this form anyway, but not many of us do it just because nobody really tells us how to do it. Now, if we go down on the first page, this right here, uh, this is what you fill out and return to your employer after we figure out the number of allowances. The number of allowances is gonna go right here on line five. So after this worksheet that we complete, you'll be able to put in a number allowance there. If you fill out your W-4 online, then this is the number that you're gonna wanna put online. Uh, the, the worksheet is really easy. Just read each line. If it applies to you, then put a one. If it does not apply to you, then skip it or read the description. There's a definition above and you can read like what how, head of household is, for example, just by scrolling up here. And you can read right here, line C, head of household. Generally, you can claim head of household filing status on your tax return only if you're unmarried and pay more than 50% of the cost of keeping up a home for yourself and a qualified, uh, qualifying individual. So if that fits you, then you put a one there. If not, then you skip it. So let's go through it as, you know, myself. So I would put a one here for line A, for line B, I'm married, so I'll put one there. C, if I'm gonna file head of, house, head of household, I'm not. Um, D, if you're single or married filing separately and have only one job, or married filing jointly and have one job and your spouse doesn't work, or the wages from a second job or your spouse's wages are less than $1,500. Now, if that applies to you, then put a one there. If not, then keep going. Now, E, this is where um, Donald Trump's new tax reform really differentiates itself this year than last year, okay? Because in this case, you're getting a lot more allowances per child. And then I have a bonus at the end that's gonna show you how to get even more allowances. So just stay tuned. Now, E, the child tax credit. So we have three children that live with us. So we're gonna put down 12 here. All right, credit for other dependents. Now, if someone else lives with you, like a relative, uh, someone that is not your child, but you do supply 50% uh, or more of their upkeep, then they're dependent. So you would put them here. We don't have anyone, so I'm gonna leave that blank. G, you can leave that blank. H, you're gonna add up everything here and you're gonna uh, put the tally there. So for somebody that used to have zero, now they have 14 allowances on their W-4, which is gonna be usually each allowance you're gonna get anywhere from 30 to $50. So, you know, just for example, let's just say $40. So I would do 40 times 14, and the rule of thumb is 40 to 50. Low ball it and you'll be happy later, or just, you know, try to find a happy medium. But that's an extra $560 per month that I put back into my paycheck every month just by putting these numbers here. All right. So let's go down. So it's going to say right here for accuracy, complete all worksheets that apply. If you plan to itemize or claim adjustments to income, being able to file deductions. So there's kinds of deductions that you have as a home-based business owner, including things like mileage, cell phone bill, wages, and entertainment, travel, uh, and the list goes on and on. So you're able to reduce your tax liability. See, when you partner up with the YGM movement, we're gonna link you up with businesses that allow you to operate as an independent contractor for their business. This means that all of your expenses are now write-offs. So what you would do on line one, I just recommend just skipping these because they usually come up to zero anyway. But line four on page three is where all the magic happens. You get to actually estimate your tax deductions for the year. So this year, 4150 is a standard deduction. So that means that you would ex expect to write off $4,150 worth of business expenses. Remember, 
as an entrepreneur, your lifestyle is a business. So there's things that you're already doing that could be tax deductible, like paying a cell phone bill. Okay, now it's tax deductible. All you have to do is come up with $4,100 in the entire year and watch what this does for you. I'm actually gonna put down what I use, which is 83. It's really easy for me to get $8,300. And um, okay, so now we're gonna enter in the total. So all in all, we're gonna bring the 8,300 down and then on line eight, we're gonna divide by 4,150 into the result here, okay? So since we made it 8,300, it's very easy. It's gonna come out to two. Now, line nine, enter the number of personal allowances on worksheet above, which was 14. Now we're just gonna add this together. See how easy this is? And now we're pretty much done. There's only a few things left that you have to do. Let's go back to the first page and find line five. We're gonna put in the total number of allowances. That's the number that we spent this whole time working on. That's the only number that your employer actually cares about, okay? So if you fill in this form online, it will only ask you for the total number of allowances and you'll put that in. And on your next paycheck, you should start to see a big result coming in every single paycheck, okay? Don't let your employer say, hey, you can't put that number down or you're gonna get in trouble because we just went through it and filled this form out ethically, morally, and legally, okay? Don't let them scare you away from your own money, okay? This is your money. You're just claiming it up front and not letting the government hold it all year. Now, if you took that extra step and you claim some deductions up front with your business, all you have to do is keep good records, okay? You don't have a business if you don't have good records. We have software that helps you keep and manage your receipts and also track your business mileage. So ask the person that invited you which software they use and they'll point you in the right direction. Now, this was just a quick video on how to fix your paycheck using a little known secret called the Form W-4. Now, you're here. You might as well be a part of the team. We're helping people improve their economic situation. We're helping people improve their credit. We're helping them get involved and get started with a home-based business so they can reduce their taxes even more. And we'd be proud to have you as a part of the team. If you have questions, get in contact with me, jerry at ygmteam.com, or get back to the person showing you this video. Let's help you level up, all starting with fixing your paycheck. Peace.